Hey guys, uh, recently I did a video about what to expect when moving across country, and I thought it was about time I released the the blog version, which is essentially me traveling across country, car all packed up, and just kind of narrating my adventure over the 2,500 miles I drove in seven or eight states. And before we get started, I'll just show you some of uh, the the highlight of the trip for me was just taking pictures in front of the uh, like every time you enter a new state. Uh, you, you know, this is Texas, for instance. I just got, I would stop in every state uh, that I saw the, hey, welcome to Texas, welcome to Louisiana, welcome to New Mexico, and do this. And you can see how tired I am in here. But uh, I was real quick pulled over, took a took a little quick quick stop, and uh, went from there. But uh, anyhow, I hope you guys uh, enjoy it. I hope you guys uh, like it. I don't do too many vlogs. Um, but I thought maybe some, some of you would like to see what kind of it was like for me to drive across country. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoy. All right, guys, uh, it is day one. I am just leaving Long Beach right now, uh, for, we're, we're hoping to go about 900 miles a day. And, um, yeah, just getting ready to hit the road. Uh, last day of work was yesterday. Um, plan is to get there Friday. I'm uh, 12 hours a day driving about 900 miles a day. Um, it's gonna be a mission. We'll, we'll do it. Um, all right. If I ever, if I ever needed a reminder as to why LA drives me so insane, I think the fact that I'm leaving for 36 hours of driving and I've had nothing but bumper to bumper fucking traffic this whole time. Uh, is a pretty good example. So I'm just gonna play back this clip to me if I ever think, oh, LA wasn't that bad, and remember that it took me an hour just to get out of LA. Log. Captain's log. It's day one, 200 miles in. I'm now on a stretch of road known as the desert. We've had critical failure of the radio which is now displaying only static and really awful mariachi slash cowboy music depending on the station. Even worse so, it's not coming in clear. Spotify is now not working as it cannot get a signal. There's roughly 22 star days, or <laughs> roughly there is roughly 33 star hours left on this voyage. How will I arrive? When will the radio c come back? Where will we stop to refuel and get food? Find out in the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. Star date, 1136 Galactic Standard PST time. We've just entered into AR-567, commonly known as Arizona. There is still nothing but desert among us. We'll survive. We will thrive. We will need to find gas and food shortly. Keep an eye out for the next rest stop. Captain's log it is now 1227 Pacific Standard Galactic. Our speed has increased to a suggested speed limit of 75 miles per hour. As we all know, the Galactic Police will allow you up to 10 miles over the speed limit. Speed suggestion, I mean, before they will take at you. And they will ticket you as I've seen numerous cars pulled over receiving tickets. We are about 50 miles from the birthplace, the home, the motherland of grandparents, Phoenix, Arizona. My grandmother lives there. Fortunately, due to restrictions of time, space continuum, we won't be able to stop by and say hi. We are now roughly 300 miles 
light years, excuse me, light years into our trip, our voyage, uh, which is roughly 12% complete. It's depressing. Much more to go. Future logs coming soon. All right, guys. Star date, 520 PST, captain's log. We have just entered into NM32971113 XY, commonly known as New Mexico. Um, doesn't look all that new. It looks like the green part of uh, Arizona. Uh, no more rain, just keeping it moving though. Uh, we're about 620 miles of my 1,000 mile goal. I've been on the road since 7 a.m. It's about 520. I think I'll hit 1,000 around 11 p.m. or midnight. So hopefully we can do that and uh, keep it moving. It is now, we are now, Captain's Log, nearing TX125, commonly known as Texas. As you can see, it is extremely dark. We are 740 miles into our journey. It is 7 a.m. 7 p.m. PST, and we still have like 1,800 more miles to go. God damn. Uh, it's been fun. Uh, a little bit tiring. Let me get this light off. Um, you know, uh, Spotify hasn't been working, so we've been listening to what's on the radio, which unfortunately seems to be a Britney Spears marathon at the current moment. Um, just keeping things going. Uh, damn. Captain's log day two. I'm exhausted. There was a mutiny overnight, but we managed to maintain control. We are currently leaving Vernon, Vernon Texas. So uh, we're actually down in hours now. Before I was showing the amount of days and hours, it's taking now we're down to hours and minutes. So we have 23 hours and like 15 minutes to St. Petersburg, Florida. Gonna keep it moving. Today's gonna primarily just be going through Texas so big that it's gonna, from coast to coast, to, or from border to border of Texas, it's gonna take 13 hours, but we did about 150 miles in Texas last night. So it's probably gonna be around 11 hours, maybe, uh, around there. So let's see a lot of Texas. One of the uh, cooler things that I've seen are these flats. They're all over Texas where it's just like, flat hills with flat tops. I'm not quite sure why they're flat, but they're very interesting looking. Captain's log. We are halfway through our voyage. We are st currently still in TX-123, commonly known as Texas, because it's huge as fuck. We are 18 hours in with 18 hours to go. Um, the home stretch. I think. No, uh, it's gonna be a little bit. Uh, yesterday we did 15 hours of total driving. We're gonna try and do the same today and then um, try and uh, try and uh, do a shorter day with still like probably about eight hours of driving um, Friday. So uh, let's get back to it, I guess. We are in Louisiana finally, it's about 5.20 PST, um, or roughly about 7 or 8, whatever time zone I'm in now. Um, we've done 732 miles today. I believe we have about 12 and a half hours left of driving if we're gonna continue on to St. Petersburg, Florida. Um, as of right now, I am going to go for a couple more hours and try and get this down to about an eight hour drive tomorrow. I hope. We'll see. I may, I may poop out. But uh, lots of interesting stuff uh, thus far. I, I really like Texas. Um, 80, mile, uh, 80 mile per hour, hour freeways is really dope. Um, and then there's also in like California, New Mexico and Arizona, there's always cops hiding trying to give tickets, and I saw a ton of people getting tickets. I didn't see that 
in the like thousand plus miles I, I drove throughout Texas. So um, definitely one of the cooler things. It could have just been my experience, but it is nice to see that, you know, people aren't laying in wait trying to ticket you for stupid shit as you're trying to travel. So um, yeah. Let's, uh, back in Louisiana, just was here recently for New Orleans, um, I flew in though, uh, gonna see a little bit more of the state, uh, I liked what I saw last time, it's very green as you may be able to see here, um, a lot of marshes and things like that, but, uh, gonna keep on driving. Alright boys, the end of day two, it's coming to an end right now, we're about to pull up to the most fancy galactic establishment that there is. We are currently in Louisiana, or LX123, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the Motel 6, very fancy. Um, gonna get a couple hours rest, a hot shower, clean up, then back to the road for the last 600 or so miles. We did 980 miles today. I'd say pretty close to our 1,000 mile goal, um, but yeah. I'm trying to wrap up the day now. It's about uh, 11, uh, 11 p.m. over here, whatever time zone we're in. So hopefully uh, we have about nine hours, nine and a half hours of driving to do. And then we are at the new uh, home location of uh, St. Petersburg, Florida. Looking forward to it. Oh man, don't ever forget the grind, guys. Look at this. This is what... The, the fine establishment of the Motel 6. You don't even get a bathtub. You get, bam, a shower. <laughs> Captain's log, day three. We are only five miles into the trip and we are actually in Mississippi. We spent the night in Louisiana. Now we are in Mississippi. Um, we have about nine hours of driving ahead of us. Excuse me, of uh, intergalactic travel ahead of us. And uh, then we're there. And the real fun begins. Um, yeah, let's, uh, well, very green. You know, we're definitely far from California to have this much green. Uh, it's just like the farther east coast I've gotten, it's just got greener and greener and, and drier and drier on the west coast, from the west coast. Um, but yeah, uh, stayed in the world's worst Motel 6. Uh, they didn't even provide uh, shampoo. Shame on them. Or Wi-Fi, those cheap bastards. <laughs> so, no Wi-Fi last night, and uh, although I went to bed pretty early, um, and no, uh, no shampoo, and so my luscious locks will remain dirty. Nah, I wash it with soap, it's alright. Uh, but cheap, very cheap. Um, yeah, back to the room. Free shit, but we got, you know we're in some different shit, we got marshes and like bodies of water over here. Alright, so we have just entered Alabama, only about 80 miles from entering Louisiana. Um, I wonder if we're, I actually didn't look at a map. I'm not quite sure what states we're hitting, so it's always a nice little surprise when the GPS says, Welcome to Alabama. And so, uh, all right, cool. Um, all in all, it looks the same as Louisiana in terms of the 10 freeway. Uh, it was kind of cool passing over a bunch of marshes and rivers on a couple of bridges on the way here. Um, as of right now, Still have about 550 miles to go, which is roughly about eight hours of driving in the home stretch. Um, but yeah, in Alabama, we're gonna see what's, uh, well, I wonder what state we'll hit next. Captain's log, day three. We have just penetrated. Penetrated is a weird word to use right now. FX123, commonly known as Florida, we are just seven hours away. We are just entering Florida. However, however, my job is in Southern Florida, so we got a bit to go. We're driving another 500 miles, but we are in the correct state, so that is half the battle. Make sure we arrive to the correct place. Um, so far, looks kind of the same as Alabama. Uh, a little less water, uh, no marshes, 
and stuff like that. But uh, we'll find out what Florida has to offer as we have about seven hours to drive through it and see some things. So let's keep it moving. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you happen to be looking for a boot camp, I couldn't recommend Dev Mountain any higher. They also include housing with their tuition, so you can get up and go and get started right away. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.